All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at day 410 on my journey to 2000, where I play a game of chess every single day, put it on YouTube for folks to follow along, and then I track my progress on chess.com. I'm currently rated 1500 after being in this range for a few months now. I'm still uh, hoping that my rating increases, but uh, in the meantime, I am doing more puzzles. I've started watching a little bit more um, tutorials online in an effort to slowly but surely improve my chess knowledge. Um, but how, uh, yesterday was, a, I don't know, yesterday I was in, right, in the right headspace. I was a little under the weather. Still am today, but I think I'm more with it. So let's hope that being more with it translates to a W today. Let's see who I'm playing. Ah, yes. Ratu. Ratu. With the Karo Khan. Do the main line. Ah, they don't take. their bishop's going to be trapped in. Let's just keep developing. Uh, knights before bishops, maybe. That might be a good strategy. Developing while defending. I need to remind myself to just keep developing. I think I might push this pawn. I kind of like how these tend to anchor on that side of the board. And they've already moved this C pawn. So if they were to castle queen side, it'd be weaker than if they castled king side. So if they castled the king side, yeah, I think they're planning on getting their bishop out and then castling. So let's push, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's push this. Why not? Why not? That's what I say. And it does seem like they're going to be developing. So maybe knight here, let's see if they'll take I'll recapture and then I'll castle. So now this queen is attacking this pawn and this pawn. If 
I do this though? This they take and then I castle. I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. But if this and they take here and I castle, and if they make the mistake of castling, and if actually I win their queen. <clears throat> Do this and see. Might have to get rid of a pawn here. Let's see which ones they end up taking. Okay, they take that one. Castle here. If they castle, then. to trap their queen let's see attack and they just can just escape their own so if I take away that diagonal they win this pawn so if I defend the pawn first and then come down and then they take this. 
this, then I would trap the queen. But this, yeah. Let's do that and see. I still haven't castled yet. Fashion pawn push. This attack is kind of taking on some definition here. Feel a little bit more in control now. The way that I talk sometimes makes me think that I'm delusional. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh. Maybe uh, after 410 days, I'm going a little stir crazy. <laughs> Welcome to Chess with Patrick, where you slowly watch the descent into insanity from a middle aged father who enjoys a piece of bacon every once in a while. Okay. Uh, they're attacking this. So let's just do this. trapped and I can just sacrifice and then actually if they do this I don't even have to take I can just kind of get my pieces over there yeah <clears throat> it's not a huge concern right now Ah, 
but they can still castle queenside. And that actually would be pretty detrimental. I should probably, I should probably plan on them castling queenside. That's his next move. I'm running out of time. I don't know what to do. Uh, that was probably the wrong move. Definitely. Thank <laughs> you. 
this game got away from me for sure. I tried. I tried to develop and defend. I think that one queen move where I forked my two pawns is where it all started falling apart here. Let's go for it though. Let's see. Can I salvage something crazy? Some crazy line that wins me the game. We'll see. I am running out of time here. this out. Five seconds left, I can actually take some time to think. <sighs> oh, I just blundered. I got a discovered check. <laughs> oh, they didn't find it. Okay, so now this lets me do this. They still have a discovered check, and they win this, though. 
Oh wait, can't they can't move their bishop. This is getting a little spicy. <clears throat> And they resigned. Whoa. Thank you for the game. Ratu. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Let's check out that analysis. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a garbage game of chess this was. We played with 58% accuracy. I had two blunders, two misses, eight mistakes. Uh, I played as if I was a 1050. Wow. Uh, let's go through this opening here. The Karel Khan. Okay, so they, they made a miss here they should have taken but I didn't capitalize on it. Uh, knight to f3 would have been better. Probably to then get bishop on the g5. Uh, maybe. Um, but I had a slight advantage here and then pushing that was a mistake. The engine like fan kettling. Well, no, that wouldn't be a fan keto. It was. Why would this be a good move? Maybe to prevent the knight from coming down in here. Ah, uh, yeah, because if they would have pushed that pawn, they could have pushed it again if I didn't take. And if I did take, then it would weaken the center. Um, after exchanging, this is even, I have a slight advantage. And this was a best move, um, which I did not play very well. I was thinking, okay, whichever one they take, if they take this one and then they castle, I could have a discovered attack. Um, if they come down here and then I castle, then they could come swing over here, maybe trap the queen. But they do the best move in taking the pawn, and I do the best move by castling. And they do the, a good move by just getting their queen back out, hitting this pawn again. which pushing the eight pawn was a good move. Queen retreat, which was a good move. And then we make uh, some mistakes here. I should have continued to push these pawns, probably just to prevent them from coming in. Um, but they could have forked my, my two pieces here after after a rookie three which yeah i didn't even see that that would have been a deal breaker that would have been game over um but getting my rook on on the side of the board was the idea although the engine liked the g file better probably just because it would provoke a move immediately because i'm attacking this undefended pawn in my head, though, I was targeting this pawn, which was also attacked. Um, the engine liked uh, taking this pawn, but if they did that, and then I did this, this knight is actually pinned. So if takes, takes, and this knight is still going to be pinned there. But it's easy to remove the pin. 
and then all they have to do is just castle and then they're that I think they yeah they I don't know the engine didn't say they played very well uh, but it was a good game oh, I really hope I shake this cold soon um, and then they like me pushing my pawns even on the queen, the king side I saw this coming and so I figured hey that's that was the best move and I I saw that coming after they moved knight d7 I was like they're gonna try and attack my bishop so I gotta be prepared to go g8 which I did and it was the best move and then this um, mistake actually gave me an advantage that I found the best move which I gotta pride myself on that. I didn't retreat back here. I kept the defending this pawn. And then but I then I made him <laughs> this mistake immediately after. Uh which I should have developed my my knight back up here to d4. It's a mistake, I think, because it weakens my king. And according to the engine, they moving my knight to d4 allowed me to control more squares. Maybe with hopes of popping in here eventually, maybe gaining outpost here. Who knows? But they take, which is a miss. I should have gone a six, attacked my knight, but my knight would have gone here anyways. So how would that have worked? Let's see, knight here, then if I would have gone here, they'd take, ah, oh, that's when they would have taken, okay. Ah, so they saw my, this, this pawn was attacked twice, defended twice, so, Bishop to a6 was the only way to get rid of one of the defenders. Um, then we had <coughs> some good moves here. Um, getting my queen into the action. This is when, you know, I had eight seconds left, so literally had to move within the increment that was given. And... I don't know if my opponent just wanted to flag me and wanted me to run out of time or to keep the pressure up on the time, but they were moving relatively quickly. Taking this pawn while it gained material was, was a mistake. They should have just exchanged queens, which, you know, they were up material at this point. So, but I make a good move here. Um, sacrificing the bishop, which they didn't take. Um, which was a good move because if they did, I would have gone g6 check. They would have had to go here and I would have gone I takes and if they take, then I take, uh, yeah, I would have taken, no, no. Rook could come over. I don't know if I would have found that one in the seven seconds that I had. I kind of forgot this rook was over here. But um, instead, they move their king to d8, and then I come in with a check, which was a mistake. I should have got my rook out of danger. And got it on this file, but I was in I was in uh, king hunting mode, so I finally did that. And with this mistake, the game is now completely even. I throw in this check, they come down, and then I find the best move with check, 
and in this blender. Uh, I didn't miss a checkmate opportunity there. I chalked that up to lack of time. So with this miss, I gave them another chance. Um, I make a blunder here. Uh, a better move would have been to get my knight on e6. Probably to go for this move again. They blunder. I find the discover check that wins me the queen. And then from here, I ha maintain the advantage almost the whole game, except, <laughs> except for a blunder that I make here coming up. That gave uh, black an advantage again, even being down a queen. Check is good. Uh, good move here. And then that that's the blunder, which again, this discovered check would have lost me the queen, but they didn't find it. Uh, and instead I make the great move to make up for it, attacking this twice. And it's at this point that they resign. So uh, I will chalk this up to a not learning a whole lot uh, day, but Definitely entertaining. I'd say this is definitely an entertaining day. So hope, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, drop me a note in the comments or let me know either way. Message me on chess.com or in the Discord. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Cheers.